Today we're going to be learning the boxer skip in five easy steps. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that we've made previous content on the boxer skip, but I want to make something more specific for you guys that's an actual drill that you can follow and repeat again and again until you get the boxer skip. So you might be asking, dude, what's up with the boxer skip? Why is it so important? The boxer skip, in my opinion, is the most important jump rope maneuver or trick to learn because it forms the basis of how you flow with the jump rope, your own style, and and it's also a great transition into being able to do other tricks or do combos and stuff like that. It's sort of like the most basic kind of jump rope that you want to learn in order to be able to expand from there. First and foremost, why the boxer skip? It's called the boxer skip because boxing, as most of us know, is an extremely high endurance sport. It requires you to use a tool like jump rope so that you can simply get in the best shape of your life so that you can last all those rounds when you're boxing. So boxers use this to just kind of flow and be able to jump for a long period of time. Because let's say, you know, something like double unders, that does improve your cardiovascular health and endurance, but that's really taxing on your body and you can't do double unders for like five to 10 minutes straight. All right guys, so without further ado, let's get into these five steps. I wanna just encourage you guys to go at your own pace, break each one of these down, pause the video as we go. First step that we're gonna do here when learning the boxer skip, I want you to just go ahead, put your rope down because the boxer Boxer skip is all about muscle memory. So these first few steps, we're not even gonna be using the rope. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to get used to shifting the weight of your feet. We're just gonna hop like this on our right foot for three sets of 10. So when you get to 10, I think I'm at 10, just stop. I want you to do three sets of 10 on the other leg like this. Get up to 10. And all we're doing here is getting used to balancing on one foot. All right, guys, step number two. We're gonna do the same exact thing, except the foot that doesn't have all the weight on it is going to lazily tap the ground. So this is what forms the basis of the boxer skip. Because here, I'll do the boxer skip. This is what it looks like sped up. So for this drill, I want you to do three sets of 10 on your right leg. So we're hopping on our right leg, but our left leg See how all the weight is on my right, but my left is still tapping the ground? I just want you guys to get used to this motion, okay? So three sets of 10 on the right, switch. Let's go three sets of 10 on the left with the right leg lazily tapping the ground. So again, both feet are hitting the ground but all the weight is shifted on one side. Step number three, this is where you gotta be a little bit patient with yourself. We are going to now try and alternate that without the rope, but again, this and this is what boxer skip looks like. So I'm gonna go a little bit slow. So I'm gonna start all the weight on my right, tap, switch, all the weight goes to my left and my right tap. So let's practice this. Nice and slow. I encourage you guys, as you're getting this rhythm down, don't be so structured with it. Don't be so scientific with it, like left and then right. Have a flow to it. Go back and forth, but let your arms kind of hang. Start to develop your rhythm and flow. By the way, guys, I'm using the cross rope get lean set. This is the quarter pound. It is the best jump rope you're gonna find on the internet for fitness and weight loss. If you want to go ahead and check that out, we have it linked up below. And for 15% off, you just have to enter do the thing which is one word at checkout. Step number four, we're gonna use the rope, but we're gonna be doing what we did in step number one. So this is step number four. Go ahead and use the rope, and I just want you hopping on your right leg for three sets of 10. Left leg, three sets of 10. Go ahead and repeat that until you feel comfortable. Step number five. Now, we're gonna use the rope again. We're gonna hop on one foot and we're gonna let the other one lazily tap. This might get a little weird, so practice as much as you can. So all the weight is on my right foot, but my left foot is lazily tapping the ground. Three sets of 10 on your right, switch. Three sets of 10 on the left, with my right lazily tapping the ground. Well, ladies and gentlemen, those are all the five steps. Now let's get into practicing, putting that all together. With the jump rope, start off slow. I'm not trying to focus on speed here, just focusing on that alternating. So right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Even say that out loud if you need to, to 
Remind yourself, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now, one last little tip or piece of advice I wanna give you. Instead of thinking about this as like, boxer skip is this really hard move on its own, it's really just running in place, except instead of both feet leaving the ground, you're running in place, but the opposite foot is just touching the ground. So it's like, so when you start to get really advanced, we can do what's called the double tap and the triple tap boxer skip. So one, two, 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 two. And then we can even go to a popular move that I saw Muhammad Ali doing a lot of, the three step. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. The most important thing when it comes to jumping rope, let alone learning any skill, is just practice and patience. This is gonna seem a little bit weird at first until your brain starts to connect and be in harmony with your muscles. So the more that you practice this, the easier it's going to get to the point where like, I don't even think about doing this. My body just does that motion. So that's all I got for you today. Please comment below. Let us know if this video was helpful, how you're progressing, what other tricks you might need tutorials on, or just what are the things involving jump rope and weight loss you need a little bit more help with that we can make content on. Don't forget to check out the JRD app. That's where all of our programs live. So if you're someone who's trying to lose a significant amount of weight, even just 10 pounds, the JRD app is really the best place to go. We have all of our workout programs on there. We have a community that I'm in checking, saying what up to people. Everybody's holding each other accountable. We got recipes all kinds of stuff. There's a 14 day free trial, so just check it out. It's at jumpropedudes.tv. It's also linked in the description. Thank you guys for being here. Always appreciate the support. See you on the next video.